Good morning. It's Monday morning and it's pause. It's time to pause for a moment and have one of those breaths, just breathe it in. It's the start of a new week. And what is it that you're going to choose to create this week? Are you actually consciously aware of what it is that you choose to create? Today I want to talk about precious moments. Um, and ask you, have you had a precious moment? So I want you to pause for a moment and think about your precious moments and what made them precious. Take a moment and just think about it for a while. What made a moment more precious than another moment? What did you experience? How were you feeling? Who was with you? Were you by yourself? Were you with other people? So on the weekend, I had some really beautiful, precious moments. I went up to Sydney and um, I looked after my mum over the weekend. Um, and spent some time with her. We had to um, have a moment with her, myself and my two brothers, to um, talk to her about her future. And I could have gone into that experience uh, knowing, with a knowing about the consequences of where mum's head head is at already and um, with assumptions and thinking that this is going to be hard because of XYZ and yet I chose to go into the experience with an end result and experience this as a precious moment in my mum's life and I had an end result of what it was that I ex that I chose to see the experience as being. And it's very interesting because as that moment was coming closer, there was a big hiccup. <laughs> um, I, I told her my brothers were coming and then left the house um, to go and get some lunch and left her with my... Um, my younger cousin and um, mum had a bit of a tantrum while I was away and so uh, when I got back it was only half an hour before my brother was coming my brothers and I'm like oh my gosh this <laughs> this could be um, so over like it, it could just ruin the whole thing but I kept to that precious moment. I kept to the feeling of what it is that I chose the experience to be for myself. You can't create for other people, right? You can only choose and create for yourself. Uh, and when you're co-creating, uh, it's very empowering just to be holding on to your own vision. And so I held the end result and um, it was this amazing precious moment and completely turned out uh, very very different to what anyone had experienced or you know anticipated it to be uh, with a, an amazing outcome um, with mum feeling extremely cared for and loved and um, and coming to a conclusion that she's okay to, to step into this new future um, that 
that's been presented to her and seen that this was really the only option and that we were caring for her. However, if I had not have held that whole, that that space, it could have been very, very different. And it only takes one person in a group to hold the space of the creation for the creation to be an amazing experience and to, to be a success for your intuition, for your higher self. Um, and a failure for your ego who wants to problem solve things, right? And so I want you to pause for a moment and ask yourself, what, in, what does a precious moment entail? Because any moment should be a precious moment. I had another really beautiful precious moment um, when I got home and, um, you know, went with a friend to the beach and had prawns and wine and watched the moon rise. And, um, and it was just this amazing, precious time, this precious moment. So one of the things about our mind is our mind is extremely busy and our mind and our subconscious is constantly in survival mode and looking for um, the negative in something to fix it. And so we miss precious moments. We miss a moment. Uh, any moment can be a precious moment, right? So we can miss those moments because our mind is too busy. Uh, it, talking to us, giving us silent instructions about how it's not good enough, like we're not good enough, how are uh, making assessments and judgments of the people that are around us and, um, and that they're not good enough. Um, contradicting the experience to justify where you're at and and um, holding you in a low vibration actually that's what it's doing is holding us in the in the um, vibration of scarcity and lack and so you could be having a precious moment and and to me every moment is precious if we're alive where we're breathing um, if you can put a smile on your face you're having a precious moment and so in any moment, be aware of what's happening with your subconscious patterns that's holding you in, in this cycle of not good enough, I'm not deserving or worthy of having um, uh, an amazing outcome. And so therefore we'll pick apart what's going on in that moment so that it can justify those feelings and and also uh, base it on previous experiences that you've had, right? My nose is itchy. I think that means I've got money coming or that I'm saying truth. <laughs> Maybe that's, I'm going to, I'm going to make that premise <laughs> that I'm speaking truth. And so, I want you to take a moment to pause and think about your weekend, for example. And think about the people that you were with and the people that you experienced um, joy with or um, you interacted with. And take a moment to recognize if any of the moments that you had, you could have made more precious if you were in the moment, if you were in your heart center, if you were connected to the outcome that you were, um, that you were choosing rather than going into default. Because when we're in default, we're going to pull apart our life and compare it and judge it 
and ridicule it and put it into a box from our previous experience and um, justify why we're feeling um, the way we're feeling and or you know like if, if we're um, in that low vibration of, of making assessments uh, what's um, right and what's wrong and who's doing what and this person should have done this and they sh and and I should have done that and all of those things that the mind is so busy uh, justifying right instead of stopping pausing smiling being in that moment of appreciating what's going on what's what's happening in my surroundings how do I feel what is the person if if you're with someone what is the person in front of me saying how do I feel about what they're saying um, really deeply listening that's what I'm going to do a pause on I'm going to do a pause on deep listening because deep listening is an art really connecting with someone else and being present to them as you connect heart to heart with someone and allowing someone to express themselves without interrupting them is is an art and it's um and it's a really beautiful um experience to witness somebody else expressing who they are and not trying to jump in or um you know our mind that's that's one of the the things our mind does right is starts thinking about what we're going to say while they're still talking like holy crap <laughs> talk about not being present right when when we're constantly got this chatter going on and so today's pause is asking you to reflect on your weekend and how how did you experience those moments the day after we chatted with mum um, I got to sit in her room with her and make a list and um, and it was really really beautiful it was a moment between mother and daughter and a, a moment that I didn't think I'd ever have to tell you the truth um, mum is adamant <laughs> as is very staunch and stubborn um, that this is the way she's going to have it and we flipped it she she completely changed her tune and it was something that all of us are still a bit shocked at uh, and it's such a beautiful experience to see <clears throat> someone recognize uh, that that the world cares for her or for them which really brought up for me just then as I said that um, how many people in your life do you know that really need you to know that you care for them Um, <clears throat> I met a, I met a guy that actually I've never actually physically met him and he might even watch this <clears throat> I met a guy that um, uh, runs men's workshops uh, or a group for men and um, and just talking to another friend that um, so many people in his life have um, recently um, passed from their in their own terms decided that they were leaving the planet and um, how many people are struggling at the moment with the way the world is and the chaos that we're in the in the middle of and just being present for someone and spending a precious moment with them and recognizing and honoring 
another human being and and listening deeply listening and opening your heart to them doesn't take long and it's it's such a, an amazing experience in in your world you know when you can really um, allow someone to express how they're feeling and what's going on for them and for you as well if you're having challenges with life and um, I'm wondering if I can see any comments no for some reason you can't see comments in Facebook I would love to know what precious precious moments you had on the weekend and if you were present to those precious moments so there's a couple of things reflect on were there moments that you could have had a precious moment and you didn't because you were unaware and you were um you were allowing your allowing's not the right word um and your subconscious had taken over uh, and was in in the mind chatter or you know did you engage did you have that experience of a precious moment and stop and pause stop and pause and feel your body feel the energy in in your energy system like feel feel the moment it's a wonderful life when you can be in the moment and pause and be present to another human being and um, share that amazing energy between um, two people of appreciation um, and support and connection and love um, to be present to someone else is um, is a real honor and uh, a lot of people miss it I miss and miss that opportunity to engage with someone else in that way and and you know for me um, you know I know some cultures um, eye contact is not an appropriate thing but um, for me in my culture making eye contact and and you know deeply looking at someone in in their soul is um, I treasure it I really treasure it and um, it's been able to look into someone's soul and and that can be a bit challenging for some people if they've got stuff in their soul that needs to be looked at and healed and forgiven and um, released you know if you're someone that that finds it quite challenging to look deeply into somebody else um, then I'd like you to reflect on that and pause with that as, as well take a moment and pause what is it that I need to forgive myself for um, what what am I feeling shame around what am I feeling guilt around um, what is it that saddens me and that I can't connect with someone deeply like that so I would like to let's let's um, think about reflect on our weekend but now um, let's move into this week with how do you choose to experience this week what is it that this week holds for you what is today holding for you how are you feeling about today because we have a choice are we choosing to experience this day as a beautiful amazing day 
or did you wake up and think um oh my gosh it's monday again oh my gosh we're at the 21st of march um wow i just realized we're on the 21st of march hasn't it flown and you know i just what does that bring up for you when you when i say that you know like um it's amazing right how things like that can trigger you and um and bring up a whole heap of stuff so i ask you to pause make a choice what is it that you're going to choose what are you going to experience um i choose the end result of an amazing uh, amazing day a beautiful productive um, relaxed day and an amazing week full of health and vitality um, where i'm efficient with my time i love every moment and i pick up and i experience those precious moments i see them because you've got to be it to see it you've got to be it now you've you for you to be a creator you've got to experience it now so what is it you're going to experience and and how are you going to walk through um this week into um the next um few days what is it you're going to choose to experience so that's me i made a choice not to feel pressured um i don't feel pressured with many things these days though i do like um i do like the feeling of um of being you know the intensity of pressure i get a lot done um in those moments so usually i'm a, i'm a leave things to the last moment so that i can push in that pressure and i work the best in that um in that process so a lot of people don't but but i do so <laughs> um uh but yeah no pressure to be here for 30 minutes and talk babble i feel like i've um i've shared everything that i would like to share um i hope that you're really enjoying your life you're enjoying um the moments the precious moments and maybe share a precious moment i'd love to know what your precious moment was over the weekend and any precious moments you're going to choose to experience um, during the week so take care enjoy your week uh, if by any for any reason any of this has triggered you you've come with reflections you've got questions you want you want answered um you want to know how to create rather than be in problem solving um, let us know in the comments and um just put a yes please uh in the comments and uh myself or my team will get in contact with you and um we'll have a chat and see if we can work out um what's going on for you and um if we can support you in any way so take care enjoy your week remember wednesday wisdom uh we'll be on at 8 30 again on women of light if you're watching on any of the other channels um then hi to you and we would love for you to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you're watching on youtube um, like and share if you're watching outside of women of light women of light is a private group so you can't share but if you got any value out of this and you'd like to share it then um, by all means uh, if someone else you can support and we can support we would love to and and feel honored to be part of that process Mwah. take care everyone and we'll catch you soon